New tonight, the Ukrainian community here in St. Louis is responding to the situation in Ukraine with worry and calls of action. One local woman has loved ones still there, and of course she is hoping and speaking out will unify allies to stand up here at home. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman has the latest. I know a lot of people are really scared and panicking. Christina Stetsev was born in Ukraine. She moved to the United States when she was just 13 years old and most recently to St. Louis for college. But family and friends are still there in the western part of the country, now stuck. I know that some people are fleeing to Poland or Romania or other countries, but like my grandparents, for example, you know, they're sick. Um, they can't really travel like that. That's been the situation for many of Katerina Manhoff students who runs a nonprofit that connects English speakers like here in St. Louis to teach more than 6,000 Ukrainian students. People are really struggling, right? People are being woken up by explosions and sirens and missiles and it's really terrifying. You know, these kids are 13 to 22 years old. So some of them really are children. The program now paused. Instead, teaching new information. Sharing practical information about, you know, how to find your nearest bomb shelter and like self-defense tips and like what to pack when you're, you know, if you have to leave your apartment to, um, to evacuate your city. Support and prayer, a big comfort for the Ukrainian community at St. Mary's. We'll be praying uh, for the Ukrainian people, for the Ukrainian military, for an end. Uh, to the bloodshed and for this uh, completely unprovoked attack. Since the annexation of Crimea in 2014, the International Institute of St. Louis has resettled 16 refugees. They now expect more, saying in a statement, while the International Institute is willing, able, and ready to welcome people from across the world fleeing conflicts, it is heart-wrenching that people must flee their homes in the first place. St. Mary's had to cancel their prayer service considering the events for Thursday, but they will hold another vigil on Friday that will be at 6 p.m. Reporting in South St. Louis County, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.